All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the color sensing block. We're going to uh, create conditions where the game will change when the sprite runs into a certain color. So to do that, I'm going to have to change my backdrop. So I can just click on backdrop here and go into the backdrop tab here and I can paint it. So what I'm going to do is change my color. So I'm going to use plain black some lines in here I'm gonna pick another color oh, maybe green green there we go and then maybe I don't know blue so in this game the cat will start in the blue and have to try to get to the green through this maze and if it touches the black it will start over at the blue so there's my backdrop i'm just going to code it so remember the green game starts when the green flag is clicked i need a when the flag is clicked a block and i need to switch backdrop that is in the looks i'm changing the looks of the game so i'm switching the backdrop to number one Number one. There we go. And here it is. Right on. Oh, I still have my uh, joystick commands. So I can control the cat set up here. Now I just have to use the color sensing to tell the program what to do when it hits the black and when it hits the end of the level or the green. So let's do that. Let's go into events and put out a when the green. Uh, flag is clicked. You know, I'm gonna before we do that, I'm going to have to change some things here because I don't want the cat to start in the middle where the black is. I want it to start in this blue. So I'm gonna move it to the corner, and then I'm going to go to motion and pull out the go to this spot minus 187 for X. That'll be here. And minus 130 for Y, that'll be down here, and they meet around here. So I'm starting on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm going to set my size to 50%. I can click it by testing it so we can squeeze through this uh, maze. Maybe I'll change it to 60. I'm going to change it to 60%. There we go. 100% is too big. Cat will never squeeze through these openings. And there we go. So now I'm going to check if it hits the black color or the green color. So for that, I will need a loop. So go into control and get a forever loop because I want to check if it's hitting these colors throughout the entire game until it stops. Or at least this level ends anyway. Then I need to go into if then. So I'm going to put two of these in there because there's two different colors if the cat hits the black then it will go back to the starting position if the cat hits the green then something else will happen so let's start with the black the color sensing is in the sensing tool blocks so here we go so if it's touching most pointer if touching color so here we go so i want to set the color to black so click it and I can change that, or I can hit this dropper and just pick the color. There we go. And it automatically changed to exactly that color. Because sometimes they can look the same. Sometimes the colors can look similar, but they're not exactly the same. So it's best to use the dropper, unless you have the bars like all the way down, or remember the numbers beside each one. So if, if the cat is touching black, then I want it to go to the start. So I'm just going to go to motion and get the same go to X, Y at these same numbers. And that's right here. And there we go. Pretty good. So let's just test it and see. There. The black, uh, the cat goes back to the start every time it hits the black. So that is good. Now I just have to check if the cat is touching the greens. Go to sensing, touching color. If it's touching color, to grab the dropper here, sample that green color. There we go. Perfect match. 
So if, if I'm touching that green part, then so I'm just going to get the cat to say something to show that he made it. So I'm going to go to looks because if I'm saying something on the screen, it will show on the screen and change the look of it. So here we go. When if the cat is touching the green, then it's going to say say hello. I'm going to change that by clicking on it and said I made it. Two seconds. And then if you wanted to build this game longer, you could switch the backdrops to make a different level and then move the cat back to the beginning. And you can have like a, a, a maze game with many, many different levels. Uh, I'll show that in a different video, but I'm just giving you the basics today. There we go. So we're checking if the cat is going to touch black and we're checking if the cat is going to touch green. So let's play this game. Start. So, oh, touching black. Oh, touching black. Okay, let's see if I can make it around here. There we go. Yes, I made it. And that will be the end of the level of your game. And that's how you can use the uh, color sensing block um, to detect if a sprite is hitting different colors.